2006 BMW M5 E60. We've gone and put a iPod and video interface into this. TV screens in the rear headrests. You'll see that the rear headrests installations, the poles, uh, sorry, the cables have gone down the poles. So you don't see any cables to the headrests. They still have full usage. They're electronic, these ones, so they go up and down electrically. Nice flush finish. You can use infrared headphones on these. Wireless infrared headphones. Audio can come out of the sound system and all be controlled via the front. I'll show you the iPod usage. So at the moment we're listening to the iPod, which is connected in the glove box. We've got iPod connection, which charges. It'll work across all iPod and phone formats, iPhone formats, and then USB for memory sticks, etc. So a quick demo of how the interface works. This is using the Denton Gateway 500 and AVR, which is the audio visual router. So I hit entertainment. And you can see at the moment we're playing BAB airplanes. So I can go to browser, um, route. You can see we can do videos, playlists, artists, Albums, song search, podcast search, everything. And this is all controlled via the iDrive system. So if we go to artists, obviously we've got ABC search, you can go through the alphabet a bit quicker, or you can just hold it and it'll flip through. So if we want Beyonce, uh, we'll have all of her, the songs on all of the albums we've got. If we want that song, turn the volume up. Yeah, that's playing easily. So that's your iPod section of it. If we go to browser, sorry, boot. S videos, let's do videos. And let's do movies. And I've got a, an episode of Entourage on here. You can hear that, that's coming on. It's the beginning of the Entourage episode starting. TV. Flick over. And there we have. We have Entourage. No. That's playing off the iPod video, that is. Um, we've also installed a DVD changer in the boot. Six disc DVD changer. So if I now decide I want to watch one of the films off there, push the iDrive in. Click DVD, and it's playing The Grinch, which is running off the DVD player in the back. Now the rear screens, I can now, if I you know, hit that back to iPod Gateway, if I now go to Entertainment, go to CD, Browser, and we're going to go to Source, if I go to RSE here, which is Rear Seat Entertainment, I can say that I want the rear seat entertainment to be playing the iPod. So now if I go into the back, we'll see that that is now playing what I just told it to play. If we say we want that to play DVD instead, we'll still have Entourage playing on the front. Let's go to root source Say the rear passengers want to watch the DVD now, so we go to Rear Seat Entertainment DVD. We're still listening to Entourage on the front, and obviously still being able to see Entourage in the front. However, the rear passenger can still be watching, or, or can now be watching the DVD. So we're watching Entourage in the front, Grinch in the back. And obviously we can control that as well. 
Uh, we've installed a dedicated feed from the DVD changer into the headrest as well, which is why that was playing the Grinch the whole time. But of course that can be flicked over to watch Andrage if we wish on the front. So a very comprehensive piece of equipment. The last part we installed was a reverse camera out there in the number plate light. As you can see from back here, it's quite stealth. Show you the DVD player while we're here. It's in the factory CD changer. Sorry, no, I don't really know what goes in there, but that's that's what we've put in. This is this DVD changer. The navigation is in the front in these, and the DVD the CD changer is in the uh, the glove box. So I don't know what goes in there. It was just a blank storage compartment. Remember how much I wanted this? It was twenty-five. So now, if we hit reverse, right. you'll well, see. Too cancel that. That we have rear display. Yeah. That's a rear view camera. So that's it, that's the Denton Gateway 500, running on our BMW uh, M5 2007, and it's using the AVR interface as well. All installed by Dalco Car Audio.